welcome to MSc videos it's time to learn so in this video we are going to discuss about computer graphics especially in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about what is meant by a picture and how to draw a line so let's start so first of all we are going to define what is meant by a picture a picture is a collection of complex objects Whenever we are seeing any scene, it contains different objects. If you are seeing a room, or a, you consider a classroom. A classroom may contain a benches, desk, board, chalk piece, and then a student, staff, and then window, door, all the things. A picture is a collection of objects. That's what we are going to say. And then, in technically, how we are going to define a picture? A picture is a collection of pixels. So, pixels are the important term. A pixel. A pixel is defined as a picture element. So normally we can say a pixel is a point. So collection of pixels formed a picture. That's what we are going to define. A picture is a collection of pixels. A pixel is a picture element. Each and every pixel is identified by using its location and intensity value. So it may be a 2D image or a 3D image. Each and every pixel must contain a location. So where you want to locate that particular pixel and then intensity value so sometimes intensity value represent a color value also so different pixels may contain the same intensity value but each and every pixel must contain a different location value that's what we are going to say then we are going to discuss about output primitives so all those output primitives are used to draw any kind of images so basic output primitive we are going to discuss First of all, we are going to discuss about a Cartesian coordinate system. So normally you know what is meant by a Cartesian coordinate system. For a 2D image, it contains two different axes, X axis and then Y axis. X axis values are represented as pixel column number and Y axis values are represented as scan line number. So if it is a 2D image means we are having only X and Y. If it is a 3D image, we are having X, Y, Z and Z. So now we are going to discuss about how to draw a line. You all know what is meant by a line. To draw a line, we need four values. Starting value and then ending value. Starting x comma y value and ending x comma y value. And then you know what is the general line equation y equal to mx plus b. m is a slope of the line and b is intercepting value in a y axis. p1 is starting point of the line xa comma ya. p2 is ending point of the line xb comma yb. And slope can be identified by using yb minus ya divided by xb minus xa. That is a difference in y value divided by difference in x value. So it can be rewritten as m equal to delta y by delta x. Delta y is equal to distance between any two successive y values. And delta x is a difference between any two successive x values. So delta y equal to y2 minus y1 delta x equal to x2 minus x1 so these are the basic terms you may know these basic terms now we want to classify the types of lines the line can be classified by using two categories by using a slope value and by using the location of the line a, lo a line can start from left hand side and ending at right hand side or a line can start from right hand side and ending at left hand side and a line with slope value less than 1 and greater than 1 so these are the four different lines are possible so these are the four different lines line type number one is line starting from left and ending at right with slope value less than or equal to 1 and type 2 line starting from left and ending at right with m is greater than 1 type 3 line starting from right and ending at left with m less than or equal to 1 and type 4 line starting from right and ending at left with m greater than 1 now we are going to discuss each and every type of the line what is a line starting from left hand side and ending at right hand side with slope less than or equal to 1 you consider this example a line which is from 5 comma 10 to 15 comma 15 which means that the starting values are less than the ending values which means that the slope value is less than or equal to 1 so we are identifying the slope value 15 minus 10 
that is y b minus y a divided by x b minus x a equal to 5 by 10 the value is 0.5 so from the equation itself if the slope value is less than 1 then you can easily say that the number of x values must be greater than number of y values so from the example itself we can say that we are going to draw a line from 5 comma 10 to 15 comma 15 so there are 10 x values are there and there are only 5 y values are there so m value is less than 1 so what we are going to consider is for these 10 x value we are going to divide these 5 y values so more x values are there and less y values are there so what we are going to consider is so we are going to consider delta x equal to 1 since we are having more than 1 more more x values when compared to y values so if we consider delta x equal to 1 here we substitute m as you know m equal to delta y by delta x so here we consider it is delta x delta x equal to 1 and so the equation will become m equal to delta y because we here we substitute delta x so you, you may know that m equal to y2 minus y1 so I am rewriting this equation y t equal to y1 plus m so this is for a next y value y3 equal to y2 plus m and y4 equal to y3 plus m and then so on and y k plus 1 equal unto y k plus m so for type number 1 a line which is starting from left and ending at right with slope value less than or equal to 1 the slope value less than or equal to 1 delta x equal to 1 and y k plus 1 equal to y k plus m type 2 line starting from left and ending at right with the slope value greater than 1 now we consider an example a line we are going to draw from 10 comma 5 to 15 comma 15 so we will identify m value so m equal to y b minus y a divided by x b minus x a it is 10 by 5 equal to 2 now slope value is greater than 1 now you check the points now we are going to draw a line from 10 comma 5 to 15 comma 15 if the slope value is greater than 1 which means that the number of y values are greater than number of x values then only m value must be greater than 1 here you see number of y values are 10 and number of x values are only 5 so now for these 10 y values we are going to divide these 5 x values so now we are going to consider delta y equal to 1 so number of y values are greater than number of x values so we are going to consider delta y equal to 1 so m equal to delta y by delta x here we consider delta y equal to 1 so m equal to 1 by delta x so here we substituted delta y equal to 1 so m equal to 1 divided by x2 minus x1 as we all know what is delta x so I am rewriting this equation x2 minus x1 equal to 1 by m and x2 equal to x1 plus 1 by m and similarly x3 equal to x3 plus x2 plus 1 by m and xk plus 1 equal to xk plus 1 by m type 2 line which is starting from left hand side and ending at right hand side where the slope value is greater than or greater than 1 we are going to consider delta y equal to 1 and xk plus 1 equal to xk plus 1 by m and then we are moving uh, moving to type 3 line starting from right hand side and ending at left with slope values less than or equal to 1 so this is different from first two line types first two line types are line is starting from left and ending at right which means that line line values are continuously increased and for type 3 and type 4 line which is starting from right hand side value and ending at left hand side you would so you consider this values 15 comma 15 to 5 comma 10 which means that line must be starting from 15 comma 15 and line must be ending at 5 comma 10 so the values are continuously decreased so here we are going to consider the negative intervals that's what we are going to say if the slope value is less than or equal to 1 means obviously we know that number of x values are greater than number of y values so here also 15 comma 15 to 5 comma 10 so number of x values are greater than number of y values so we are going to consider delta x equal to minus 1 since the line is starting from right and ending at left we are going to consider a negative interval so delta x equal to 1 if we substitute delta x equal to 1 in the slope equation so delta x equal to minus 1 we are going to substitute that so m equal to minus delta y 
So, m equal to minus of y2 minus y1. So, now the equation will become y2 equal to y1 minus m, y3 equal to y2 minus m and similarly yk plus 1 equal to yk minus m. So, this is for type 3. So, for type 3 delta x equal to minus 1 and yk plus 1 equal to yk minus m. Then we are moving to type 4. Type 4 is line starting from right and ending at left with the slope value greater than 1. Whenever slope value greater than 1, you know that number of x values are greater than number of y values. We are moving to line type number 4, line starting from right and ending at left with the slope value greater than 1. If the slope value is greater than 1, we know that number of y values are greater than number of x values. So, from this example, 15, 15 to 10, 5. So, line must be starting from right and ending at left with a negative interval. So, each and every point must be reduced to reach out to the destination. Now, here we are going to consider delta y equal to minus 1 because number of y values are greater than number of x values. So, if we consider delta y equal to minus 1, delta y equal to minus 1 means m equal to minus 1 by delta x. So, m equal to minus 1 by x2 minus x1. So, I am rewriting this equation x2 equal to x1 minus 1 by m and x3 equal to x2 minus 1 by m and similarly xk plus 1 equal to xk minus 1 by m. For type 4, I am going to consider delta y equal to minus 1 and xk plus 1 equal to xk minus 1 by m. So, these are four different types of a line. Now, we will write the algorithm that is DDA line drawing algorithm, digital differential analysis algorithm. So, first of all, step number 1 is, as usual, if you want to draw a line, we need the end points and then step number 2, we are going to calculate the slope value. After calculating the slope value, we are going to identify the type of the line, whether it is starting from left to right or whether it is moving from right to left and then by using the slope value also. And step number 4, line type number 1, if the line is starting from left and ending at right, with the slope value is less than or equal to 1, we are going to consider delta x equal to 1. That is what here we return it as xk plus 1 equal to xk plus 1. So, this x suffix k plus 1 indicating the position and this is xk plus 1 indicating the value. And yk plus 1, we found the formula for it equal unto yk plus m. And then for type 2, line starting from left and ending at right with the slope value greater than 1. So, in this we consider delta y equal to 1. So, which means that the next y value is equal to the previous y value plus 1. That is the meaning. y k plus 1 equal to y k plus 1. Do not confuse with these terms. Delta y equal to 1 means the next point of y is determined by using the previous y value plus 1. That is the meaning. And x k plus 1 equal to x k plus 1 by m. So, we, we derive this formula. And then the third type is line starting from right and ending at left with the slope value less than or equal to 1. And then we consider delta x equal to minus 1. So, the next value of x is equal to the previous value of x minus 1. So, delta x equal to minus 1 means x k plus 1 equal to x k minus 1. And then y k plus 1 equal to y k minus m. So, we derive this. And type number 4, line starting from right and ending at left with the slope value greater than 1. Then we are going to consider delta y equal to minus 1, which means y k plus 1 equal to y k minus 1 and x k plus 1 equal to x k minus 1 by m. That is what we are going to say. And then step 5 is we are going to repeat step 4 until reaching the end point. So, in step 4 we identify the line type and then we are going to continuously substitute, increment the k value and then continuously substitute the y and x values. We are going to repeat the process until if we reach the end points. So, now we will solve a problem on this example problem. Draw a line from 1 comma 1 to 5 comma 10. So, as usual, first of all, we are going to draw a line from 1 comma 1 to 5 comma 10. The first step is we are going to calculate the slope value. So, the slope value is 2.25. So, you have to identify the line type. The starting values are less than the ending values. So, you, you can say that line is starting from left and ending at right and slope value is greater than 1. So, which means that this is of line type 2. So, you have to fix the formula. In type 2, the formulas are yk plus 1 equal to 
y k plus 1 and x k plus 1 equal to x k plus 1 by m. So, we are going to start from k equal to 1. So, already we know what is x1 and y1. x1 and y1 is this first points 1 comma 1. And we are going to substitute k equal to 1. So, you can identify y2. y2 equal to y1 plus 1. So, y1 value is 1 and plus 1 which is equal to 2. And x2 equal to x1 plus 1 by 1, 1 by m. And x1 we know it is 1 plus 1 by 2.25 it is 1.44. And then we increment the k value k equal to 2 y3 equal to y2 plus 1 and then x3 equal to x2 plus 1 by m the value is 1.88 and k3 we are identifying x comma y values are 2.32 comma 4 and k4 it is 2.76 comma 5 and k equal to 5 3.2 comma 6 and k equal to 6 it is 3.64 comma 7 and k equal to 7 it is 4.08 comma 8 at k equal to 8 it is 4.52 comma 9 at k equal to 9 we are reaching out 4.96 comma 10 so almost we reach the end points by using DDA algorithm you are getting x comma y value but you are getting in a floating point values you can't locate floating point in a Cartesian coordinate so what you are going to do means in a DDA line drawing algorithm, you want to perform additional process. If you are getting a floating point value, you want to perform the round operation. So, the next step is we are going to perform a round operation. So, almost all the values are, are rounded. Here you see 1.44 is round into 1, and 1.88 is 2, 2.32 is 2, 2.76 is 3, 3.2 is 3, 3.64 is 4. 4.08 is 4, 4.52 is 5 and 4.96 is also 5 and here I am getting the rounded value and here I am drawing a line. So this is a simple line drawing algorithm. By using this line drawing algorithm you can easily draw a line but one of the main disadvantage of this DDA line drawing algorithm is here you want to perform additional operation that is round operation because if you got a negative slope value or a floating point value no, sorry it is a floating point value means you will get a floating point x comma y value so at that time you want to perform a round operation so that's all about DDA line drawing algorithm keep on visiting my channel thank you for watching